Renshin is one of the biggest battery case manufacturers in China. It's usually Renshin and Hailong that build the battery pack cases. Although molding a bit of plastic and putting some connectors on them, there's thousands of companies like that in China. But Renshin and Hailong, they focus mainly or almost exclusively on battery pa battery packs casings. Empty cases for OEM manufacturers. And you'll see these a lot. And they have three new versions. Oh, shit. This, I think, is the new Dolly series. This is DP6. It's made for 70 18650 cells. That's just the, the biggest battery case so far. It has an indicator here in the back instead of uh, the usual place over here. It also tilted a little bit. Nice. It's had a locking mechanism that doesn't. Um, have a spring so you lock it or either unlock it so it's easier to remove the battery and then has a five pin connector and of course no place for a uh, for the controller on these ones it has an on off switch and a dc charging port gonna take a look inside as well Let's have a look. Ah, yes. Okay. Nice, they added a little bit of foam so it wouldn't shake around in here. Otherwise, nothing else in there. Let's have a look at the inside. Nice, two pin. Two pin on out switch and, fuck. A standard three, three pin uh, DC connector indicator for 48 volt. And, uh, oh, nice soldering tabs. It says positive and negative, and the three in the middle are marked one, two, and, okay, you guessed it, three. Here you can see the Renshia logo, ABS plastic, but it doesn't say the case name or any additional info. I don't know what kind of config you would have on these ones. 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18. Okay, forget it. You, you, you can pause the video and count it if you like. But it says 70 pieces, so I believe them. And they have quite nice holders. Here you can use like 8 to 10 millimeter wide nickel. But this here you can go in all directions without hindering. And they still have the minimum amount of tabs to uh, put the 18650 cells in place. Oopsie. Oh, I forget about that one. Pretty nice case. And of course, I put them in wrong. Must be like this then. Nice. It comes with two keys. Yes, also marked Renshin. And here we have the next one. I think this is the Dolly series as well. It, this is Poly 1 DP5. It's for 56 pieces. And also this one came with a BMS. Here we go. Included BMS. BMS is from Best Way, which is not always the best, but you can't complain. Um, 13S, 30 amp, and there are four MOSFETs, five MOSFETs. Yeah, maybe it can handle 30 amps, but it still has a very thick, very large uh, cooling plate. And an on off function, and very thick wires. So it pr should probably be no problem if you're gonna run the battery on 1000 watt, which my, most of my customers will do. And the wires are not that long, but they will surely work on this smaller battery pack casing. So, I will not open this one up since it's uh, most likely the same. How did I lose the keys? 
Oh, of course, they're on here. So I want to open it up. It's is it Dolly or Polly? Poly 1, Poly 2, Poly 1, Poly 2, Poly 1, Poly 2. And they're almost the same price. Almost exactly the same price. You should definitely go with the bigger one if your frame can fit it. And then we have these two. And you know what's special about this case? It's for 2700 cells. It's uh, wider than the other ones. Not much probably, but... Okay, they are about the same uh, width. Jumbo Shark. I don't know why I ordered two. Yes. No. I ordered two separate separate ones. They had two ads up for the same case. So I think I bought two copies of the exact same case. Let's see if I can remove it. it. Was open. I know you're open. Yeah, that's always a little tricky. Yeah. No. What? That's a new kind of connector, some kind of bolt connector. Three pins in the middle and two on the outside. Nice. That I like. It looks very gold and it seems to be gold plated as well. Let's have a look inside. Let's see if there are any markings or indications. Doesn't say anything, but that's usually how you do OEM. You don't write anything unnecessary. Now, okay, it's the keys. Yeah, here you can see the inside, quite similar to the other case. Really sturdy lock. They have a metal plate over here instead of a plastic one. That's a nice upgrade. So you can't just cut off the lock or something like that. Grooves and a nice connector on the inside as well. Yeah, standard plug and connector. Not much more to see here. And here they have the indicator in the front, 48 volts, two short wires. Let me put this over here. Nah, I like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm, I'm gonna count in Swedish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I start counting in English, so forget it. It's many pieces, 86. Ah. They are most likely made for Chinese 2700 cells because they're quite loose. They're, since there's no actual standard for these new cells, these are the 21700, so these are the bigger ones. Um, no, the company couldn't decide which, which size actually was best, so all the companies are doing different sizes and they made them different things. And I think the Chinese ones, they actually make them bigger than 21700, so they can fit more energy into them since they cannot build as energy dense as the competitors. And the only reason I use these kind of cells is that you have more capacity. However, these do not handle that great current. These shouldn't be used in more than five amps per cell. So you have to build with high amp, 2700 cells. So then you're not gonna get that much more capacity. So uh, I'm not, I don't think this case is gonna be popular, but it's great that it exists, but because there will probably be better cells in the near future. They're very wobbly. So, so you, have, you will probably have to glue them together as well. So. This one was not recommended unless you're using like um, shy shiny cells with which are a little bit bit bigger. So I think that's it. You're not gonna have to watch me screw them together again.